Hey everyone, my name is Kimberly Polita and I'm the Customer Education Specialist here at JotForum and it is officially time to demo AI Agents. Now, as you can see, I'm currently on the landing page for AI Agents where you can see some of the examples of channels that Elliot just mentioned, including an example of the chatbot in the bottom corner. So let's go ahead, we're gonna go up to the top and we're going to build a standalone agent. So I'm gonna click on Create Your AI Agent and here's where you can choose your primary channel. Just Keep in mind, whatever channel you end up choosing, you're gonna be able to use that AI agent on the other channels as well. So let's go ahead and choose standalone. And we can start from scratch, we can start from a form, we can utilize a template, or we can clone ourselves. So for this example, we're going to start from scratch. And we're gonna be utilizing the customer support option for a travel agency. So here it says, create a customer support agent that answers questions, resolves issues, and provides helpful solutions promptly for a travel agency. We can add that in there. Now let's create, and we can see it's crafting our perfect agent. It's customizing those fields to fit our needs, building that intelligence, training our agent, and here is Luna, our customer support agent. Now, like I mentioned, over on the left-hand side, you can see all of those other channels that are available, but let's go ahead and start customizing our AI agent. Now, in the top right-hand corner, we're gonna choose that paint roller, which is going to be our designer, and it's gonna automatically land on the avatar gallery. Now, this is where we can change what our avatar looks like. So from here, we can do a quick search. So if you're looking for someone who's on the phone, who's holding a tablet, maybe a clipboard, we can do that here. We can even take a quick scroll to see if anyone jumps out that we would like to use. Now, if we go to the next tab, which is generate, we can type in a description that we want. So let's say, instead of what she's wearing, we want a red suit. Let's generate that avatar. Perfect. So we are officially switched over to a red suit. And as you can see, since we changed, our name is now Alex. Or if you have a specific avatar you'd like to use, you can always upload an avatar here. Now, if I switch back over to gallery, I'm gonna change this back over to the first one and let me show you how face swap works. So down here at the bottom, we can see face swap. If I turn this on, we can choose an image. And now maybe it's yourself, maybe it's someone who is a part of your brand, maybe it's a mascot, but we can upload their photo. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose my JotForm picture. And let's go ahead and save, and we can see down here that it's working, and if we watch her face, we should end up seeing it resembling me. And there you have it. Now, if you choose to not have that, all you have to do is just turn that off. All right, perfect. Now, let's jump from the Avatar tab over into the Style tab. Now, this is where we can change the entire color scheme of our AI agent. Now, if we want, we can choose a preset one, or we can make this our own. So the agent background style is going to be the section that's directly behind our AI agent. So for the start color, we can make it a little ombre. We can choose to be darker at the top and lighter at the bottom. And right down here, we have the agent name and role. So this is gonna change this section right here. Now, if we keep scrolling down, we have our page background style. This is going to be what this standalone piece is sitting on. So if we change this, Right here, we can see the dark at the top and the light at the bottom. Now, if you have an image you would like to upload, you can do that here as well. All right, next we have the chat style, and this is going to change the color of the ch main chat area. So if we would like to make it more of a gray color, we can. Now, I'm going to change that back to white for now. And if we can change the font family, we can change the font color. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that a little different, and we can make it black. And we also have the button style, which is right down here. Now, lastly, we can change the layout for our agent. We can put them on the left side instead of the right. It just depends on what you prefer. And that is it for the designer. Now, if you're gonna utilize one of those other channels, you wanna make sure you click those to make sure the designer fits that app. So we can go ahead and jump through each one of these just to make sure they look okay and make sure everything looks good, perfect. So let's go ahead and jump into that middle tab, which is going to be the train tab. And I'm actually gonna jump into that first one, which is AI Persona. This is where we can change our agent's name and our agent's role. Now changing it here is also going to change it up at the top. So maybe we want her name to be Ashley and we want her to be a travel advisor. Perfect. Next we have our default language. So if you would like to choose another language, we can do that here. And we also have the tone of voice. We can choose from friendly casual or professional. And I think friendly is great for this example. 
and then we have our conversation style. This is going to be the chat response link. So we can either be minimalist, which is 10 to 50 characters, all the way up to chatty, which is over 250 characters. So you can choose however you would like. I'm going to go ahead and leave ours on short. And then we have some chat guidelines. Now, these were all provided by AI, so just make sure you review those. And if you want, you can add more as well. So we can see here, if you add one, you can provide clear and concise answers. So you can add as many of the chat guidelines as you'd like. I'm gonna go ahead and X out of that one. And we can jump over to voice. And we can change our agent's voice. If we choose change, we have the option to choose a different language, a different accent. We can change from male to female, and we can also change the age. I'm gonna go ahead and choose Matilda for this one. All right, now let's get into that knowledge base. Now this is where we're going to train our AI agent, okay? There's four different ways that we can do that. The first one's gonna be with knowledge, and it says right here, adding text-based information to train your agent. So if you have something somewhere that you would like to copy, you can paste it in here. You can absolutely do that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go back. Now next up is going to be links. So if you have a website that you would like to use, the AI agent can crawl that website, and if you paste it there, it can crawl up to 100 subpages as well. All right, I'm gonna click back. Now, if we have a file option, you can actually bring in a PDF or a doc, and I have a PDF. Let's go ahead and bring in that. Is this gonna be our travel FAQ? And here's where we need to tell the agent how to use this document. So we're going to analyze and use this PDF to provide answers. So let's save. Perfect, and if we click on add a new knowledge, the last is going to be question and answer. So if you have a very specific question that you know you're going to be asked, you can absolutely put this in here and you can type a very detailed, and like it says right here, informative answer that the agent can respond with accurately every single time. Now, one last thing to consider, if your agent doesn't know the answer to a question, it's gonna end up right here and you're gonna see a red X. So if that happens, you'll wanna come in here and answer that question so that way, the next time it's asked, it knows exactly how to answer that question. Now, next up on the left-hand side is actions. If you are familiar with our form builder, this is very similar to our conditional logic. So for example, let's say our user asks about booking a trip and we want to start the form filling process and we can save and you can add as many of these actions as you would like. You can make it as complicated or as easy as you would like. Now, next up on the left side, we have our tools. This is going to allow you to have some automation within your AI agent. So for example, we can set an appointment with Google Calendar. If you have your users uploading images or docs, you can also use Google Drive or Dropbox. Now, if there is a tool that you are wanting that you don't see, make sure you use that request a tool option down at the bottom. Now, the next one down is going to be forms. So as we just did under actions, we attach that travel request form, but if you have more forms that you'll want your users to fill out, you can add subsequent forms here as well, and you'll choose from all of your active forms. Now, the last one over on the left-hand side is gonna be teach your agent. This is gonna give you the ability to chat with your agent, to train it um, at the same time. So if you were to come up to the top to preview and give your agent a test, you wouldn't be able to train it at the same time. So if we ask a question here and it doesn't know an answer, we can say, hey, add this to your knowledge base so that way they'll know it for the next time. All right, let's jump over to our published tab. And from here, we have our direct link to our agent. And as of right now, it is a public agent, but if you want, you can easily change it to a private agent or a company access only agent. And we can copy this link and we can send it through the appropriate channels. We can even invite by email or share on social. Now the next one down, we have our chatbot. So let's see a live preview down in the bottom of our chatbot. And if you want, you can turn off that greeting. If you want it to automatically open, you can have that on or off. We also have that pulsating effect. And you can see that right now it is in the right position. And we can go ahead, let's go ahead and click and see what this looks like. And we can see it says request travel arrangements. Clicking this is going to start that filling out process of our form. And we can also see, view the PDF that I uploaded, that travel FAQ PDF. Uh, we can type our question in here. 
Uh, if your user would prefer, they can jump over and utilize the voice option, which is here. And here we can also view the forms that are attached. Uh, if we have any history, we can view that conversation history here. All right, next down we have our embed option. So if you would like to embed your AI agent on your website, you can do that as a full page embed. You can do it as a chat bot. If you're utilizing WordPress, you can absolutely use that specific code. If you'd like a light box, let's preview what a light box looks like. Perfect. And a pop-up. You can preview what the pop-up looks like. Perfect. All right, let's jump down to the phone agent. Now, if you'd like to buy an AI agent phone number, you can do that for $10 a month, but you can easily test this out utilizing your own AI agents. You just dial the number and enter in your agent's code and you're gonna be able to chat with your agent. Now, we also have voice settings here as well, but let's go ahead and jump down to the voice agent. Now, we have those same embed options, but let's go ahead and give this a test. Let's talk to Ashley. How can I help you today? Hi, I'd like to book a trip. What is your full name? All right, so you can see because I said I wanted to book a trip, it immediately jumped into the form because we added that to that knowledge base. So next on the left-hand side, we have our SMS agent. So if you'd like your AI agent to have text conversations, you can do that. If you have a WhatsApp business number, you can do that as well. You'll log in with your Facebook business account. Now next down is going to be Messenger. So if you'd like to have your AI agent have those messenger conversations in the future, you can do that. And the last one is gonna be sharing an agent as an app. And if you're familiar with JobForm apps, it's very similar to that as far as the setup. You can change the app name, the app icon from here. We can change what that splash screen looks like, and we can even turn off and on the push notifications. So let's go ahead and head back, and let's officially preview Ashley, our travel advisor, and let's ask her some more questions. So I know on that FAQ document that I uploaded, it talked about a different, different payment options. So let's go ahead and give that a try. All right, that's perfect. Major credit cards, debit, and digital payment options. All right, let's go ahead and say, I'd like to book a trip. All right, now let's go and get started. Let's enter in our full name. and our email address. And a phone number. Now, one thing I wanna point out to you here is you can see where it says skip. So both of the previous fields on my form were required. The phone number was not required. So if you wanna ensure that your users are filling out your form, ensure that each of these questions is required. So I'm gonna go ahead and just type in some numbers here. And I would like to go to Australia and I want to do that in July and we can see here that we have three different options for the travel type and this is going to end up being a drop down on your form so I definitely want to be flying there and now we can review all of our information perfect and we can see that that phone number wasn't required right here so let's go ahead and submit all right, and then we can continue chatting if we would like, but I'm gonna go ahead and jump out of the preview and I'm gonna head up here where it says AI Agent Builder and I'm gonna jump over into my inbox. And here we see Elise Martin's information, everything. Now up here, if we want, we can jump from our inbox over to our tables and we can view all that information here as well. And that is it for our demo. So let's go ahead and jump over to Lainey and she's gonna share some real life success stories from some of our users. Lainey?